So, okay, thank you, Susanna. First of all, thank you very much, Carlos and Susanna, for inviting us to participate in this uh, conference. Uh, I didn't expect you were able to see my presentation because it is in just one slide, uh, but also I didn't expect too many people in the room. So if you don't mind, I will pass through this uh, and you can share and then you can check it. No, If you can see it from the paper, I think it will be enough, okay? So, my name is Enrique Pedros, and I am the cluster manager of FEMAC. FEMAC is the cluster of the agricultural machinery in Catalonia, okay? We are located in the, oh, I don't know what's going on with the maps, but we are located in the northwest, sorry, of uh, Spain, okay? In the border with France. My presentation is trying to explain a little bit uh, FEMAC from the beginning, 1996, uh, until now. And from there I will try to explain what we do, which are our members, what kind of project we deal, and which are our scopes and futures. Okay? So, to understand what we do is uh, any machine your members of your clusters may need to plant, to harvest, to collect in your uh, clusters is what we do, okay? We do basically any kind of machinery behind the tractor. Also, we can include farming equipment and also irrigation systems. So these three kind of products are what our company's members manufacture, okay? If we take a look to the composition of our cluster, also I would like to say it's not a big cluster, it's a very small cluster, but I am proud to say that we are the typical cluster, okay? In terms of that, we have the companies, in total we are 28 companies, we have two uh, universities, we have four engineers, four consultants, strategy, marketing, uh, three uh, research centers and two government agencies. In terms of numbers of employees, we are approximately 1,100 uh, crew workers. In terms of turnover, we are almost 150 million euros in total. Okay, And uh, geographically, because in terms of clusters, uh, I think it's very important to, to have in mind also this, this issue in order to be more efficient to your members. So 50% of the cluster members are located in Neida, which is our headquarters. And it, that means that in less than 30-50 minutes you can go to meet almost every member of the clusters. Then we have 4% in Tarragona. It's less than 100 uh, kilometers, uh, in Girona less than 200 kilometers, and Barcelona less than 150 kilometers. I think it's very important to have in mind this, this, this issue in order to be more close to your members. Okay? When was started FEMAC? Well, uh, Catalonia together with the País Bas was or were one of the two first regions in Spain uh, starting this uh, cluster policy. Okay, 
Fermat wasn't as a result of a cluster analysis made in 1996, okay? When 12 companies together in 1997 decided to found uh, Fermat an association, where is where I work, okay? The cluster organization that deals all this structure is Fermat. And in this uh, structure, only two persons are working, okay? Fermat was founded in 1997, and in 1998 is when I joined it, uh, me personally, Fermat as the cluster manager. Okay, so it is then when, then when we decided to, uh, based on this cluster analysis, to make a, uh, some kind of uh, clustering and formalizing the cluster, and we started with a strategic plan. This is was basically more based in a short-term basis. And at that time, if you go back, even with your companies in 1996, uh, mostly of the companies, we already have joined the European Union in 92, the, the liberalization of the products. Uh, companies, the need of the companies at that moment were basically how to export the products, how to mark with the C, how to be able to sell the products in Europe, some kind of training and to help companies to, to find some kind of uh, funds to develop new products. So at that moment, our strategy plan was based on these four or five access exports, research, uh, CE mark, how to manufacture to be able to sell in Europe, uh, some kind of training to help workers uh, to understand the new roads and how to implant the international standard organization uh, model production in companies. Okay. Okay. It was in in 2004, 2004 when we started together with the companies uh, get in touch with universities, uh, uh, research institute, and other companies related to the chain value of agricultural machinery. Okay. In 2005, after 10 years, together with the government of uh, Catalonia, we organized a review and evaluation of the cluster, because it's important from time to time to reevaluate which are the goals, the scopes, and the, and the, and the new challenge of the cluster. Because as I said before, so at the beginning we had some more basic challenge for the companies that after 10 years were completely different. From how to export, we thought that more important to just to sell the products. At that moment we realized that not only it's important to export, it's where we can supply components for our companies or even where we can manufacture our uh, machinery to be close to our clients. Okay? So it was in 2007 when we became uh, IEs with this uh, specific program from the Ministry of uh, Industry in Spain. We recognized these more innovative clusters. And we became Agrupaciones uh, de Empresas Innovadoras, or Occupation of Innovative Companies. And why I mention this? Because of the funds. Okay. Marian said before that uh, funds every time is must and more and more difficult. And also from this, I would like to explain how we are funded our structure. As you can imagine, it's a very small one, but in any case, we need uh, money to, to do our job. So basically, this 60% uh, of the funds comes from, at the beginning, we're local, we went to regional, and since 2007, uh, the national uh, funds are much more important than regional or even local level that completely disappeared. Okay, 10-50% comes from the fees of the members of the clusters and 25% comes from the services we do to our companies but also many of these services paid for public funds. Okay. I think also I would like to stop here to tell that I really appreciate to to to, to 
stay here because we have realized ourselves that we started with local, regional, national, and our future right now of our cluster is to try to find this fund from multilateral organisms with whom we are already in touch and also through the European direct uh, fund projects. So, we are a small cluster, so we were a few uh, weeks ago in Vienna, in the European Cluster uh, Conference, and we realized how important it is to find this kind of a strategic alliance with other clusters. And this type of conference and, and, and the clusters represent give us a very strong uh, chance to cooperate together with the same goal. Okay? Innovation for a global and sustainable agriculture. And also we realize that from the European with other topics that is one of the most uh, important topics that will appear in the new European sponsor schemes. So at that level and because we are behind your value chain, so we are the machinery manufacturers that you need to start your value chain, I think it's for us a, a, a good chance to cooperate with all of you in order to find all this type of cooperation project that make us possible all together to make a more sustainable agriculture. Okay. So, also very important for us in 2009 when uh, Elizabeth, my colleague as a product manager, it, uh, joined FEMAC and since then we could be able to manage much more projects. Okay. What kind of project? Uh, cooperation, innovation, and again internationalization. Since then, we have been dealing some uh, transfer technology uh, projects, uh, basically with Bolivia, with Mexico, and with uh, Cuba. What kind of transfer technology? We understand that the future of our sector, your sector, is in the these undeveloped countries. Okay. Uh, the question is how we are going to feed the world and I think is that your companies, our companies, how we can develop new products, new plants, new harvest, new crops, new, new cultivars that can um, absorb the need of proteins the world needs. So this kind of projects were more focused in developing agricultural techniques to improve the productivity of the agriculture of these countries. Why? Because most of these countries right now they have to buy uh, the protein, the cereal, the, the many of the cultivars on the uh, international markets. And as you may know, the price, for instance, the wheat has been doubled in the last three years. So, when you got the out, uh, sufficient uh, feeding, so these countries are much more focused on how they can be self. Uh, self-sufficient in their countries. In 2011, because um, the world is changing, we came into the new uh, social uh, media to be more present, which is another of our goals. How we can be more visible to you, to other clusters, to our clients, and to the rest of the world. For that reason, we came into the Facebook, uh, Twitter, and, and YouTube. Well, and we finally, after uh, 15 years, we achieved 2012, with, where we can celebrate the 15th anniversary of FEMAC, and also uh, during the European Cluster Conference, we were recognized of uh, the Cluster Excellent with the gold label, uh, which is the only cluster in, in Spain, in Catalonia, that we received uh, this gold label. Okay, we can talk about that. Uh, one of the indicators that uh, they measured us to achieve this gold label recognized was the 
level of partnership with other clusters. So at that point, we fight, okay, because we were not um, well linked to other cluster. It's, it's uh, again coming back the reason why we are more than welcome to talk to any of your clusters, how we can create this kind of links with your clusters um, in order to create this, what we also call this uh, pole of knowledge. Um, well, I mentioned this project because uh, I saw in, in your program that the idea of this conference also was to discuss about possibilities to, to, to projects. Okay, to new projects under this uh, KIBBE uh, call in the European Union. So I don't know, we have to talk right now, Susanna, or maybe you have a uh, schedule it for tomorrow, I think, to talk about potential projects. So in any case, I put it in this uh, slide, some ideas of uh, what kind of project we could set up with uh, all of you. Thank you very much.